This is Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Gpod Jamin back here again with the I think second second or third part of our fight night champion story mode prowl. <laughs> I don't think we were this far. We will have to restart. Oh, stupid. I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, so we need to go and get this one instead. No. I'm guessing it's this. I, I hope it's this one. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for yeah, okay. Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe. So we got here to where my hands are first. So all eyes at the start of round number two now are on the right hand of Andre Bishop. Remember, our video replay showed clearly that he hurt that right hand in round number one. But how much will he use it here? That right. will give us the ultimate confirmation. Well, one of the things he has to do, Joe, is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand. He's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothering him. Use the left hand, maybe every once in a while, fake like you're going to throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know, doesn't take advantage of that fact. And Andre Bishop now appears reluctant to throw that right hand. I just couldn't get my hand out whenever I did, it's like low. And there's the left hand working well for him again. That's a good job like, by Bishop offensively. I couldn't Landing his combination is the key to victory did, tonight. Do that. Meldrick Johnson's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Scored well up top. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Bishop's left now getting into the mix. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Let it go! Very accurate with the overhand right. A stinging uppercut by Meldrick Dude, Johnson. It's not a land. Right to the body. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. The combo lands upstairs. All right, let's get right back into it. Back to combo live right. action now in what has been a closely contested. Combo with your left and burst. Only right hand too much or it could ruin your career. Right. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. Because I'm doing nothing but using my left hand, dude. Well, this is what pro fighters have to do. Find a way to fight through the pain. But if I'm Gus Carisi in that corner of Andre Bishop, I tell him to abandon the right hand and go out there and win it with your left. Oh my god, this dude's just pounding away at my head. Andre Bishop, with only his left hand as his real weapon, just isn't landing it at all. Focus. He digs into the body again. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop, and here he's putting it to good use. Johnson's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction away from that punch. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Bishop's landed a good, solid combination. Now there's the jab. Meldrick Johnson's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Right hand over the 
top, very accurate with it. An accurate left by Johnson. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Good shot to the midsection by Meldrick Johnson. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. That right hand is just impossible to not use. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of us, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Oh, nice job by Andre Bishop there landing that jab. I like the way that jab is doubled up by Andre Bishop. Yeah, that's it. Oh, my God. Oh, what an uppercut. Hook right on the belt line. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it Come against on. him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Whiffing, dude. This is boring. Comes on, right honestly. back at him with a left hand. Come on. Like, it just Takes freezes one, me right there. Gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. <laughs> he comes back with the left hand again. Good flush shot upstairs. Super hook by Andre Bishop. Johnson's tagged by that powerful hook. All right, he's backing up a lot, so I'm thinking he's... Bishop's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Scored well up top. Johnson's cut is clearly in the area of his mouth. You can see blood coming from his mouth. Well, that was. And he wants the body up like that. Doing, not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. I wish I wouldn't miss so much, man. Two good jabs by Andre Bishop. Johnson's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a. Well, it's a tough moment for Andre he, Bishop he right now. Me, man. He's hurt. Mm. I can hear his corner not say, good. spit out your mouthpiece. They're Mom. just looking for any excuse right now to get some time. An interesting footnote to what we're seeing here tonight with Andre Bishop. We showed you the replay earlier where it appeared that he hurt his right hand in the first round. The word we're getting is that those in the know say he actually had injured that hand during his prison stay. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going, come on. There's another left hand from him. Yeah, good work! Come on. Andre Bishop's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents. He didn't see that left There we go. Big, big oh, my God, we got him down finally. It is down. a process. So what I'm figuring out hey, is, okay helping, to go out, but go out the side door. is hitting him with that, door, and getting myself, because then he'll come back a little bit, or try to. Price. Every time Andre Bishop throws that right hand, he winces. He is in serious pain. So he'll, he'll get like a lot more um, aggressive when I get like rocked and I get rocked every time I throw that hand that right hand he might not be able to keep it up missed that counter punch so bad he's committed to that left hand and it's working out keep moving, keep moving. that makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs come on come on come on come on that's where he wants his man opposite him, right against the ropes. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. As <laughs> that cut's not looking good. It's Come on. Keep it going. He's actually comfortable winning this fight just with that left hand. This is impressive stuff. Bishop's defense is paying off now. 
Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Andre Bishop. Uh, watch my own Bishop health here a little bit. A beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. And a boy! Getting rid of that punch from his opponent, well he's blocked tired. by Andre he's Bishop. Tired. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Come on. That's Come on, baby. That's a solid hook by Andre Bishop. Well, he wants to, to tie you up like that. Come on. Keep that head me. Johnson's jacked by an uppercut. Bishop's left working well that time. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. It's like hard to get my speed to going. To the there. That is a big right. Hopefully, I don't have to knock him out. Himself. Good biting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. That is All right, a dude. Sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson, and now he digs in with that hook to the body. Come on, I'll keep throwing him. I'll keep throwing him. Come on. Just a I don't know why he's walking away like he won Andre that Bishop fight tonight. or won that round. Clearly come on, big on come on, cards. come Trainer on. Gus Carissi has to know it. You can just see by the way he's Watch dealing with him in between rounds. He knows it, and he can Give go two ways man. with it. Get the rounds out, work on things, carry him a little bit, or go close to show. Good job with another left hand. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. What an excellent two-punch combo by Johnson. Scores up top with a left. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. That's what I want to see. You got this one. That's a well-placed hook by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Scoring he's able to recover from this counterpunch when it's so easily. Gotta watch that. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. Solid left hand. Was that his counterpunch? He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. Bishop's work in training. Come on, look at these combos I'm throwing up. I'm nasty you with see it. see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination. A solid true uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. He punches hands up. Andre Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Andre Bishop is damaging himself Every time he throws that right hand, he is in serious pain. Targeting that head with a combination punching. Right on the mark with the hook up top. <laughs> Alright, three more minutes and I'm out of this, like this. fucking match, dude. I should win this easily. With the way that cut opened up. No, and it's really bothering him. He's talking about the way I tee off like this. Now he's gonna have to really mentally concentrate on putting that out of his mind and letting the corner take care of it and doing what he has to do. Come on, come on. Jab out. Keep it going. Keep it going. Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that Look last at this, round? dude. He's not even blocking barely. Look at the way he's slugging himself around. He's tired. He got no stamina. People going to say, Teddy, he's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Nice defense. Good block by Johnson. Come on, keep it going. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. You're doing great. And now another left. And oh, what a good strike.
Come on, dude. I don't understand how I can get him down sometimes. Yeah, it does. And the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So he's putting together three, four, five punches. Where Got him in the ropes, dude. He's not getting out of there. Worried something's going to come back. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. He got hit right there, but he also gave I mean, is it possible to knock him out? Solid effort by Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's on the receiving end of a right, gotta watch out here. A well-placed left hand up top. Nice strike after catching one by Meldrick Johnson. Two more seconds. Bishop's one. landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Completely one-sided fight. All right. That's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, come on. If you saw it any other way, you'd have won this one. Warning out. The next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous. Sir, Isaac, what finally. Do you think about your bishop as a challenger. I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this. It's your first show. Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop, which should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with it. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Bishop's had this experience so many times. And <laughs> All right, let's knock this mug out. And they are underway. Round number one of this much anticipated. I got my combos back. Let's go. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace oh my and gosh. quiet. Connect there. He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different the piece of the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. The other day when we were talking to Andre He's just throwing Bishop, straights, he man. said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. That's great stuff. He we're not going to decision here. We're knocking this guy out. Come on, get off of me, kid. Andre Bishop. No way that didn't shirt. land. Oh, my Here's gosh. I'm whiffing. Reggie Stewart. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Great hook to the head that time. Look at that combo, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm just throwing hooks like crazy. In a matchup like this, Teddy, we know the outside fighter is going to try to stay away from that power puncher. But what about the outside fighter putting forth his own offense? What can we look for? Throwing everything at this man, well, dude. Misses will create offense for him. Misses will create offense. What he has to do is allow the aggressive fighter, the power guy, to do some of his work for him. When he tries to get in, make a miss, make him pay. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And we come to the end okay. of the round. I'm just whiffing on so many of these punches, man. Come on. Come on. Up top with the right hand. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. That is a strong uh, uppercut. Okay, there. he's an outside fighter. I'm stupid. Oh, a devastating power punch by Reggie Stewart. 
Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Blocks that punch. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Uh, this is just beautiful to watch. So the watch computer just plays off of my one, misses, I guess. Next, Teddy, a beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tool because it just follows one, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. And there's the left hand working well for him again. There's a right hand by Andre Bishop, and another. That's a good sign. Non it just backs away, dude. Both guys in this round. The final minute is here. Come on. And he just then you want to? Oh, don't tie up, you weirdo. Shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. To the head he goes with a left hand. Job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Stewart. Oh, wow, dude. This and guy is weird. Another right hand lands. He's getting him into position there. You can see him backing him up against the ropes. Come on. Dude, is there like a key? Take him to the right hand. He's heavier pound. They want me to use counter punches? All right, well, let's and go. And we are it. back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. What a nice combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop's combination that was landed moments ago is a... One of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner throw something. hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Andre Bishop. Now he ties and he wants up to there. tie up to me. Well-targeted left hand by Stewart. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. Stewart's been hurt by that shot. He got rocked. He just got rocked. They're knocking him off the right, so I'm just going to throw a right. Big, big shot. Hit him down with a left. Don't get knocked out, kid. All right, get up. Get up. Get up. I am playing so bad today, guys. I apologize. I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. I hope Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Well-timed by Stewart. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he mm. wanted to do. I hate when they walk away like that, like I didn't just knock their ass in the mat, bro, come on. His opponent a solid shot. Yeah, well now Gus will tell him, stay after him, but he will also tell him, do it the right way, with good defense. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're figuring it wasn't enough time dude i'm not gonna throw then if you're just gonna dude Stewart's now feeling the effect you're just gonna sit there and eat all my punches that's right bullshit well he should feel the effects. i mean look joe it's kind of like standing out in the rainstorm with an umbrella and all of a sudden the women... there we go and for the second time tonight, the right hand okay yeah you can down. sit down on that one he's gonna get up from that probably you talk about putting it oh, you went down. Rest. Let's go. How about... All right, cutscene time. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? 
get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them, well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now, and he was a genuine contender. But the big baby, well, the big baby has always been a pretender. <clears throat> Alright, let's get right into it. I don't want this stream to go on crazy long, so I'll probably only play like until we get to the um Joe Tessator and Teddy Atlas with you. That's a big striking blow to the head by Cooper, and a cut has opened up over Andre Bishop's right eye. A cut? How thought I got a cut? Now you have to be a little bit more cautious, a little more alert. Bishop with a nice combination, a good old one-two landing on Dwight Cooper. He wants to hold already, and now dude. We see that cut, and that's become a very inviting target. He has to make sure that he doesn't only see that cut, though, because he might get a little over anxious, get a little heavy only on that side. All right, dude, you're just a fat middle-aged white man. Come on. Come on. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Blocks away that head shot. Comes right I don't know if I can just straight up knock hand. him out. Or if it's like a... Oh my god, dude. They just throw jabs when I throw those power punches. Power puncher against a fast and speedy fighter. What are some of the first things you look for in a matchup like this? Well, I'm looking for the fast guy to stay on the outside. When there's distance, you can use that speed. You don't want to be cramped where the other fighter can use his power. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? Come on, dude. He was a great Come combination on. puncher. That's what look at that. You just ate those. Brings the left hand upstairs. Once again to the head. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Dwight Cooper's left hook landed the most damaging blow of this fight. And the blood above Andre Bishop's right. right eye is becoming much more substantial. So I can't, of course I can't just knock him out. Now the corner has to do their work. But the fighter, I usually don't say this, but he has to go out there and not worry about winning this round so much. He has to worry about defense. Don't get touched on that cut anymore. Give the work. I can't just knock him out when they give me little things like this. So he just can't hit my eye too much. So like he got one hit there. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cut between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. All right. After a minute, he's only averaging two, so he shouldn't get more than what six. Very nice defensive guard there. Good jab by Cooper. Andre Bishop's at his best when the combinations are laid. Come on, man. He scored well there with that combo. Halfway through round number two. He shouldn't get more than six. You know, this Able round. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And now they're trading blows. What a shooting hook that was by Andre Bishop. All right. That's nice work by Bishop there landing the left hand. Bishop digging to the body well. Lands a left hand against Cooper's right flank. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Andre Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there landing a crisp combination. Cooper's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways His to knowledge isn't there, dude. Is He's the just block. getting lucky. Well. I can't knock him out this immediately. It's going to... All right. Bishop as White Cooper is I don't want to let him get more than six. Punch against that cut eye. He He's landed a six. Victory here if that six, that's it. All right, can I knock him out now? Protect that eye. How long do I gotta protect that eye, bro? Bishop snapping that jab. 
That's it. Great combo. He's got four already, dude. Damn. Five? How did that count? It was a jab. Six. Alright. At this rate, he might get it. But he should have. Keep some jabs thrown. Keep him at bay. Nothing too crazy. Kind of play it safe. Because we can't knock him out because this game is. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Good one-two from Bishop. He landed that right hand flush against Cooper. Gets rid of that effort. Cooper's able to land a good, solid left hand. Oh my God! Here, dude. Here, eat these. See Andre Bishop. That training really paid off. Just back to base. Boost drag. Boom, boom. Come on, man. I can't believe I let him get ten already, man. That's crazy. Andre Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. If Dwight Cooper can just step up his offensive attack, he could score a TKO victory here because that off punch him. is worsening. Bishop's doing well here with that two punch combination. Great combination from Bishop. 20 seconds. Not gonna get it off no matter what he does. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Andre Bishop. I still should have won that round. Is it still gonna Very let me protect this fucking eye? From Andre Bishop. He can build off You're of kidding that. Me. Yes, he can. And You're he kidding me, dude. It because you could see his confidence is mounting round by round. Can I even knock him out? When can I knock this guy out, dude? Andre Bishop needs to be so careful right now that the ref doesn't stop that fight because Cooper is landing punch after punch against that. He's cutout. not though. He started with fucking six and he hasn't gotten one. like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into oh, You can hold on to me, bro. It's cool. I get it. I'm sexy. Double up your punches. Get out of the way from those punches, man. Move your head. Cooper's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now, and he's going to take advantage of this. Able to land the hook to the head. Bishop now able to land that left hook to the body. Look at that combo, him. man. Cooper's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Hut has one, opened two, up now one, over two. the eye of Andre Bishop. It does not look good. If Dwight Cooper can land another punch or two, he may get it. Did you see that? He I didn't know I could still knock him out. Or knock him down. It's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have Did been not the realize that I could he still knock out, him down. Pulled out into a world of trouble. A world of punches. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Well upstairs with the right hand. All right. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his Dude, game plan crazy. beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skills. See, that's what I like about him. We have a Come lot on, of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. All right. Well, I can still knock him down, so I got to knock him out with this. Cooper. He has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes to tone it. A quick, devastating hook by Cooper. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. All right, dude. Come on. Come on. Bishop's hit by a counter punch there. Halfway into round number five here. 
God, dude, this is infuriating. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop, and here he's putting it to good use. And then he just goes away, like he just runs away. How about that left hand? Finish with the hook. With the hook. Come on, man. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Blood is streaming down the face of Andre. Streaming, bro. That really? Is really impairing his vision. The ref is taking Not really. I can see perfectly Clayton fine, Cooper dude. Could be on the doorstep of a TKO win. Good job staying away from the danger there. And round five comes to an I just got to knock him out. That's it. Targeting That's the left hand to the body. Combo. And just grabbing Get onto his opponent. Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. That Sizzling hand like speed that. we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking just it down. Like that, also, it makes like the that. opponent keep his Oh, my high. God, dude. Come on. His hands because the other guy's so much faster. Andre Bishop's right hand scores well. Cooper's left landing well. Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Come on, dude. Halfway through round six. Keep pushing. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. And now he scores with that left to the body. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Finish with the and he just holds on, dude. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Even the announcers don't like you, man. Punching is working well here. Oh my god, dude. Fine. Fine. No, you want now you want to come in here? Come on. Little head knocking with that right hand. And his arm's got to be dead, dude. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there. Land the right hand. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Bishop's tagged by a hook. Carissi's game plan being executed. Am I, am I able to actually win this game? Bishop in that last round, he has a lot of momentum. Yeah, now when he gets back to the corner, of course, Gus only has to tell him, keep doing what you're doing. But a guy like Gus, he remind him, hey, it starts with the jab, always fundamentals. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. There's the hook by Andre Bishop. That was well scored. Cooper's nailed by a hook. Move your wow, is he defensively sound? That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Cooper's hoping Come to on. recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. Bishop's able to land a nice clean left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Well, he's sending more than one at him now. The combo Dude, the this hand. guy, man. Like, Little head I don't want to go ten right. rounds with him, man. I just want to knock him out. Headshot lands was a hook. Cooper's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Ooh, let's see some more head movement. Good blood shot upstairs. 
combo lands to the head. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight, and I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading a bit. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems. I'm not there. fading at all. What are you talking? I have full stamina. You have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. You get hit on the jaw, you can get a broken jaw. Well, what more can Gus Parisi really tell him to do? Just keep what you've been doing. He is dominating this fight. He's got to be way up on the scorecards, Teddy. Oh, he exactly, is. dude. That's and what I'm what saying. You, you just... Maybe test the waters what kind of finish you are. Maybe. Not get reckless, but show that you can finish. Now, that is sharp, accurate punching. The three-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Cooper's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. In real life, he's not blocking all these, man. Oh, my God. You want to fucking counter and go into that? Parries that punch Come on, dude. Throws a counter punch there. Oh, my God, dude. Come here. Look. Right here on the chin, buddy. Right here on the chin. I'll headbutt your ass. Don't make me. Fire with a left hand. Scored well up top. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And you can see he wanted to do that. Nice time to tie up. I'm, I'm doing it, man. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Nice! A good block. Get in there! Scores with the combo to the head. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Come on. Right to the belt line. Protecting his head well with his guard. This guy, dude. Andre Bishop's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. My cut, look at his fucking nose, man. With some success. Carissi stresses to Andre Bishop to control every second of the three minutes of a round. He did so in that last round. Yeah, and the way he did it was by controlling range. He's very good at making sure he's the master of distance. Blocks the headshot. Brings the hook that time. Guard your head. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Andre Bishop. Teddy, as a hard-working trainer, you must love what you're seeing here. And that's a fighter that looks just as strong, just as fresh as the first round. Yeah, this is a guy that knows he gets better as the fight goes on. But not only that, he understands what being a pro is. A pro isn't being good for four rounds, for six rounds. It's being good for the whole night. And that's exactly what he embraced. Come on, kid. Oh, my God, dude. Come here. That was interesting. Andre mind. Bishop clearly fouled, but the ref didn't see it. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. It's doing great. Scores up top with a left. He just blocked. I can't like I can't get through it. I'm spamming him, dude. Defense. More defense. Great counter punch. Oh my god, it. here. Side, oh, that's Sit hurt. down, you fat Once old fuck. He goes down. Please don't get up, man. You're just annoying. Like, you're not gonna Oh slap so the mat. You're so mad. But Teddy, it's dude, quit tying up with me. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart. Sit down again, man. I don't see much to hooks to be a dick. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's gonna step in now and stop this. God, that pisses me off. Fall down. Yep, I knew you were going to anyways, dude. Oh, so mad about that one. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, everybody. I just want to get to these fights, guys. In Atlantic City, I remember this Nichols one. If I had him in the body, they're going to call it, uh, Teddy Nichols, they call them fouls. Watch. Legitimate heavyweight contender. That is See? To believe right there. It, to be a clean body shot, but it is a clean body shot. 
is deducting a point for a low blow against Andre Bishop. off on him, man. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? That's okay. Blocked Let's by go. Nichols. The trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Super two punch combo by Andre Bishop. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Hello. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said, to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. They'll tell you right here. I know, kid. I know. The Queen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. All stay, right. Stay. Now we got the green light to knock this mf -er out. Come on. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Fuck, I forgot. I didn't mean to hit LT there, dude. Good block by Nichols. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Another flush shot lands upstairs. I can't do body shots. What are you telling me to do body Here's shots for? for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. You're the one who told me no body shots. I was talking to the corner of Andre Bishop earlier today, and they were commenting on the... Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. I'm going to go but down here regardless, so... do is stay away from that right hand. Keep it going. Right to the head with that right. Andre Bishop just passed a very tough test. Finish with the no hook. doubt about it that he was hurt. Now there's no doubt that he will fight on. A well-placed overhand right. Combination to the head. Nice block by Nichols. Finish with the hook. Bishop's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good side. No, I'm gonna think about the next time I throw a punch because it can't be a body punch. I didn't even throw a hook there. I think that this fight could have turned on a referee's decision. Two times point deductions early in this fight for what appeared to be perfectly fine body shots turned low blows. Great movement to get away from those punches. Bishop's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening 
around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, what he has to do now is give his, oh my God. his cut man a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive, and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Able to dismiss it. Watch the hook. Nichols is left now getting into the mix. Good block. That's a nice right hand that time by Andre Bishop. Bishop showing us some desperate measures right here. Throwing big whooping shots, just trying to headhunt after being stunned. Yeah, sometimes when you're not sure of yourself, you actually do the opposite of what most people do. I wasn't even stunned this round, was I? Oh my god. He is swinging away, even though he's in there it is. That's what I'm talking about. You can stun me, you're gonna go down. The computer the computer gets right now head hungry head hunting hungry like this, but many do. when you get stunned so you can just kind of see away at them oh, online hard. or against but other people that are like real fighters it's a bit different it's a little bit the same thing as you do sorry God, you're a bitch. Again, the story of this fight, if it happened Come early on. on, was the referee deducting points for Andre Bishop for what were clearly clean body shots. Since that point, Bishop has gone extensively to the head. I wonder, like, if these other fighters are, like, thinking, like, man, this referee has to give me this fight so I can win, and you still lose. Could he be DQ or possibly lose a decision based on those points being deducted? That takes up that Uncle much. Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Nichols is in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Good right hand. Big shot. Oh, Hell yeah, he's going to go down. Nichols Sit down, you baby back again. bitch. Oh. Rise up and continue on. But probably he probably will rise up because this game's stupid. Oh, he's falling down. No, he's not. Oh my god. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. About to go down. Right hand downstairs. Oh, good exchange. Oh there. my god. Now earlier tonight we saw the point deductions go Come on. against Andre Bishop with what appeared to be perfectly clean body shots that were called low blows. Since then, Bishop has had success. Wow! Oh, how about that success? He ain't going, he ain't getting up. Nope, fall down. Yep, stumble. Night, night, bitch. Oh, that's how we do it. Straight away from the body shots. Still, he was able to earn the knockout victory against Kobe I know you don't want to fight your brother. But I remind you, this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Jerry. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to. As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself.
back into Think of the same thing. This little training exercise. He's your brother. I don't know why it's well, he's been like a son. To I threw him. That's right. Part of me keeps wondering how the hell did he get to this point? Probably should have never seen him. It's not going to pose any good worry about it, is it? We're here. I didn't do Raymond that. Raymond isn't worried. Raymond's wanted this opportunity his entire life. Since the two of you were I, kids. Dude, like, I'm hitting my right stick in that direction every time. He wants to shine brighter than you. He wants to get out from under your shadow. <laughs> He's going to fight like hell. Come on. He's got something to prove. I'm throwing that, dude. Come on. You've got to give this 100%. You're not going to be doing Raymond or yourself any favors by taking it easy on Or by looking for a way out. you got to give it 100%. Mm. Another thing, this fight is on winnable against your brother, so I gotta let him win. After years of dominance, like it's impossible to win the fight. There's no way you want it for the story mode. Where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the MGM Grand. All right, let's get into it. In There's no way we win this one. one of the most unique fights you will ever see. Brother against brother. I think I gotta wait till the next Andre round, and then he's gonna Bishop knock me out. Facing his estranged brother, Raymond Bishop, in a heavyweight eliminator to see who can move on and take on the world champion, Isaac Frost. Teddy, this is an odd one. Who could ever think? family members facing off in the squared circle. Well, you have that old saying, you hear it quite often, but never That's quite it. this way, where you say there's bad blood here. Well, there's real blood here. And that is gonna be what's gonna have to be overcome by both these fighters, to forget that there is real blood and just go after it. I can only imagine the emotions that'll be running through them. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Bishop's right hand did it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to finish through the first round, and then after that, he just pretty much knocked me out. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good See, he's defeatable. He's not hard. He was a great like, combination puncher. That's what he's doing He's now not crazy strong or anything. A headshot block. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And now just But once we get to the uh, championship fight against Isaac Frost, I'm going to scoring well probably sign off and then we'll get back into it. By Raymond Bishop. Watch the hook. The left hand coming into play by Raymond Bishop. But right now, I'm winning this fight. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Like I won that round easily. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there. Just won the round, Gus. Okay. He might be a little brother. He's got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. For the plot, though, of course, we cannot win. So I'm just gonna go over here and let him hit like one shot. Go. And he's gonna Round knock me out. Two is underway. Nothing I can do. Wow, a big punch just Come on. crashes home on him. Wow. Bishop is As you can see, I don't even get the chance to use my... Yeah. There's, the second you go down, you just can't get up.
Hold up, ain't this the same ref? Shut up, bitch. Ain't this the same ref that was calling some bullshit, bro? He's between the Bishop brothers this past asshole. As Raymond knocks out his older brother Andre, Andre was knock me out. I stayed down because I didn't want to keep fighting my brother. The stage is now set for a heavyweight. Can't hurt my baby brother, bro. And the champion Isaac Frost. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Also, we get to fight as Raymond Bishop for this one fight. But of course, um. In the story and mode. Oh no, we get to fight as Isaac answer. Frost. That's what it is. So we fight as Isaac Frost here, and we basically kill Raymond Bishop here. You'll see in a second. Raymond Bishop, who earned this world title shot with a knockout of his brother, squares off against the world champion, Isaac. Uh, things opened up, and he was able to place And yet another big shot comes in. It's insane, dude. His stamina does not go down. Stand up to it. That combination put him down. Baby Bishop, Raymond Bishop, trying to get up and continue on. Look at that, dude. My stamina just doesn't go down. I just keep throwing. I'll just keep throwing hooks. That's insane, dude. Now this is the big leagues here for Raymond Bishop as Isaac Frost is pressuring him early on here for this heavyweight title. There we go. He deserves it. That is some head trauma right there. I think we just made him um I'm not even going to say that. Don't want to get banned. But. <laughs> Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. This is boxing. That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Can you, let me do this. Listen, I'm not going to cry. Every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me. That I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. Got him. There's your evidence right there, I bitch. <laughs> if I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe we got the you. bishop has something you want. Megan, we got you him. can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it. I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. 
that we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce T.L. McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win.